Is there, I don't know, I, I don't get this, but a joy from, joy from Germany or Berlin? That's what I saw, joy from Berlin. Does that make sense? Are you joy? Are you from Berlin? But you're not German. Oh, that's cool. Berlin, Ohio. I didn't know there was one. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. From Ohio. Berlin, Ohio, where, you know, guten Tag. Um, this is really special. You're living in San Francisco. Yes. This is good. Unbelievable. Um, wow. I'm just looking down because I'm nervous. I'm trying to get the rest of this. I'm trying to get more. Um, November, wow, November 9th, no. 2010. John, oh. is this your father? And he went to be with Jesus. Oh. And uh, He was a prophet. He was a prophet. He John a, Schock or? John Schrock. Schrock. <laughs> I'm seeing him right now in heaven, but he's behind you in heaven. Like Jesus and your, your dad are behind you. And he's smiling and Jesus is saying, write the book. Oh. It's about his life. He has crazy stories, crazy. He's just a funny, crazy man yeah. that has a story to be told. That's, it's like a, a hodgepodge of collection of just who he was and what he prophesied. And I feel like the Lord's saying it's a catalyst opportunity because your dad is literally praying over you and your husband, who is also close to your dad, who really respected your dad. I can see this. God is, uh, is about to do something for you and your family and your dad is praying in heaven, but there's a story to be told and you're gonna be on a learning journey as you tell the story for how to tell greater and greater stories. You're gonna steward something with him that's gonna cause stewardship over your life. I see your dad is in all his glory. He looks around 30 years old. He looks so healthy, he's really fit. He's really fit like he would have been when he was that age. And I feel like uh, he's, he's like so happy with Jesus right now. Like I'm just seeing Jesus and him are like best buddies. Like they, they're just like, he talks Jesus' ear off. This is like a man who <laughs> knew how to, he had a gift of gab and he's talking Jesus' ear off all the time. And it, it's Jesus' pleasure to have him there. It's so awesome. But your dad is talking to him about you and your husband and about your family and about your time in San Francisco, which is a divine assignment. And there's some things that you have to do there and there's some things that you have to become and your, and your dad's part of your intercessory team. So just know that you're surrounded and it's time to do. And your dad, I'm telling you, I know that was so painful for you, but it's now a celebration day because your dad is still alive. He's alive in heaven right now. Bless you.